Okay, people, back again. Another video about physical routine or training routine and meal plans. This is my opinion, my experience, and the people I hang around experience. So, take it as you want it. If you have the money to do it, you can go get a physical stretch or a PD nutrition that help you. First thing first, physical routines. Now, these routines, how do I say? First of all, I'm not going to tell you my routine. I can tell you how your routine work or how some of us routine. I'm just here to tell you the basics a basic of our routines that should be a standard. Mm, I have two different forms of workout. Our routines, our meal plans. I have one group over here where I does when I'm most comfortable or how says I have all the equipment I need or the training partners I'm comfortable, I trust them Basically, just pure perfection. It's virtually impossible, but you know, whatever. And then there's the other side of my routines, all meal plans where I'm not comfortable or I'm working out with people who are trying to compare themselves to me and take what I have for themselves and turn around and claim they invented it or they started it and I can give you an example of I'm doing like a thousand push-ups the rest routine I have from other people how I do it the way I do it the amount of dedication I put into it the amount of benefit I get into it what depends on that situation when I how fair I'm doing, how much meal I'm doing, what time of day, blah, blah, blah. And then there's another side of that where if I do do a thousand push-ups where I'm doing my real routine, going to the same position as I would have done if I wasn't doing my real routine. I'm doing those thousand push-ups. I had a different form of dedication. I had a different form of mindset. And I have my meal plan accordingly to that. And that situation changes every day, every time, every day, every time. Uh, we can bad weather, bad outside, lines going crazy, freaking most of stuff depends on you. That's why I have like an infinite amount of routines for those infinite amount of situations and not it was never new i mean it is always changing it is never the same i get bored very quickly i how's i say i hmm, don't always have the same effort 20 365 days a year or uh, dedication and um, so that just basic, basic or basics. That just me wise and you know, whatever. But if you get chased by a runaway lion and you know you're the slowest outside, don't go outside. Head indoors. Be smart. Cause I guarantee, if you all those people around there, someone's gonna get tripped. It could be done by accidentally. It could do it on purposely, but you know, someone's gonna get trouble. Have fun with that. Anyway, back to the physical routine explanation and meal plan explanation. Basically, basic. I have a document below in the description that explains this better than what I'm gonna say. It is because saying it and seeing it is way different. The first group we talked about is these people are, how should I say, hmm, they are the first starting off or they coming back to it. And then 
the amount of time you would train would take depend on whether you coming back to it or for starting off. And the amount of dedication you put it in, you can be your first time getting in a shape, the minimum of time you have. This is your first time getting in the shape, the minimum of time you have. You're not putting that much dedication into it and your training is not that correct. 30 minutes, you must work out at least 30 minutes every day. You won't get that much benefit out of like 10% benefit out of it because you're not in shape. You're not doing the workout correctly. You're not doing your training correctly and you're not putting that much dedication into it. Plain and simple. And then you have the option of people who are working it out. They're not putting that much dedication in, into it, but the type of workout doing is on the godly level and they're in their body already in decent shape. If they want to get benefit out of it, not doing that much dedication to it, at least six hours, four times a week. Why is that? Because their body is all above a person that's, that's um, how's that say? Their body is already above that person, the minimum person, their first time getting into shape versus themselves. And time wise, they're hard, not that hard dedication, but the type of workout they are doing is on that level. If you are, if you're working out doing one finger freaking push ups, guess what? You go for it. You won't get the same. If you do that minimum person workout, you won't get the same benefit out of it. Even if you're not putting that much dedication in, even if you put dedication into it, you still probably won't get that much, that 10% benefit plus that they're getting. Six hours because mm, you don't have to put dedication into it to work out six hours long. Just work out, have a workout six hour wise. And those times of days is just not putting that dedication to it, but you are putting effort into it four times a week is it will at least get you that ten percent benefit. Here we go down to the people who are first time doing it. They're either not in shape or their bodies are already in shape based on they work, their life, like construction work or freaking welding, kids, whatever. These are people who are putting dedication to their workout and doing it correctly. Like doing push ups that are freaking doing every push up correctly. Doing every sit up correctly. Maybe once or twice they mess up. It's that once or twice, but you know, these people are going to get more benefit out their workout. Even if it's their first time doing it. Mm -hmm. um, the minimum amount of time for the first time of doing it, they put more dedication doing it correctly. 20 minutes, six times a week. Just 20 minutes. See, this is different from a person that's not putting that much dedication to it and just putting effort into it, and it's their first time getting in shape. They both just, they are both same situation with one not putting that much dedication and not doing it correctly compared to one that's putting more dedication into it and doing it more correctly. And even though they're both doing the same type name of workout, then one is putting more of a mind frame into their workout. The same thing going with that end. They are doing godly level workout. Their bodies are in decent shape. First time, about three hours on the first month, one day. 
Next month, next week of that month, another one day. Next week after that, this one day. Next week after that, two days. Now, they will get 30% more benefit out of it compared to the person who first time working out, doing a godly level workout, their body's in DCC, but they're not putting that dedication and effort to it. They have to work out six hours, four times a day. Because they're not doing it correctly, their body's already in shape. Their body's not like their bodies are in shape, but they wouldn't go further than what they are. Like maybe average level, maybe above average level. They have to work out a little bit harder, no, way harder, way harder than that person who put in that effort and dedication to it. Like, and then there's the. Uh, as I say, mm. Mm. then the, these are the next section, right? The next section is these people are already in shape. They'd be training for like six months or a year. Their bodies are more developed than the last group of people. Now, they can either come back to training with not so much dedication all with the dedication dedication it would be like the last group but the time frame for them are a bit different due to their body already having that built now in the end of the day physical routine is still based on what you want and what your goal is if you don't put that if you don't put that effort in to get that percentage benefit of it you're not gonna get what your goal on you have no right to complain unless something like a meteor come down crashing onto you or freaking Pennywise coming out and just scaring you to death you have no excuse now like I said I have more than one workout plan if you want my help you can send me a comment or message my email or read this doc below. It won't give you everything. It just give you what I said in the video with more description, understanding of what I'm trying to say. Now, let's go to meal plans. It's basically not that much. It's your goals, your budget, your time, your dedication. Who's cooking for you? Who's buying your cooking for you? It's, it's not that much. Nothing there for you. If you're cooking for yourself, that's time consuming. So you better prep it out. Unless you're going to eat like a meal a day, it didn't work out. Nothing, really. Then there's budgeting. Will you stick to your budget or will you go all? I've been off burgers for like six years and I got to eat these three burgers. I go through 30 burgers at least one, one time every four months, but that's just me kind of burning off. There's goals of your meal plan, which your routine, how you want to feel, will you stick to it? If someone else said your goals for you, do they even know your everyday life, everyday circumstance? Come on, people. And then there's goals by someone else who 100% knows you, knows your budget, know your plan, know your shape, your condition, your physical and mental condition, your situation. The question is, will you stick to it? Will you put the dedication if, if you have been trained by me and I'm doing your meal plan, I'm buying your food or cooking for you or you doing it yourself, you're going to stick to it. Oh, you're going to stick to it if everything was my way because I'm going to drop you in the middle of nowhere where you have no choice but to follow that plan. I'm exaggerating, but you know what I mean. Now, it's not that hard. Just go for it. Like I said, um, for me, wise, I have two reasons, two routines. I two sets with those unlimited amount of routines. Uh, I'm sick. It's cold outside. I have no food, and I'm in that position where I have that perfect equipment or training partner I probably work out like 30 minutes 40 minutes heck heck I might even go for four hours and that's still my minimum 
let's say I'm in the opposite of that, I'm not comfortable or I'm training with the military or anyone else or going to this. At most, I probably go by what they say, but if it's me on my own, 30 minutes to at least two, three hours. That's just me. I eat probably four meals. Most people body meal wise are different. Like I said in one of my prior videos, I used to be 220 pounds. I dropped weight. I used to be 130. I went to 190 to 170. It just go back and forth. But I've always had that potential to be in better shape than mostly everyone at that weight class at the age level worldwide. And that's just me. But like I said, physical routines and meal plans. Read the docs below in the description if you want a better understanding. Go to past videos on my channel to have a better understanding as well as if you want me to make your meal plan and physical routine, let me know. I have no need of charging you. I like the competition. If you're that type of person that give me a a healthy competition, go for it. I don't mind. I'm out.